Hey man, it's your boy Corey Roby of CR's World, man. Back at you with another reaction, man. Back with at you with another uh, evaluation, man. Today, man, we're gonna be doing a reaction video on cash versus credit, man. Which is better, man? Cash versus credit, which is better, man? Shout out to my guy Pan Man Capo, man, for dropping that game, man. Uh, dropping that knowledge, man. Again, man, a lot of people don't know the things that got, that band man be talking about, man. And without further ado, man, you know I don't do too much talking, man. Let's get into this game, man. Let's get into this lesson, man. Let's go. So look, today I want to talk to y'all about uh, cash versus credit. You notice a lot of people getting cash during this pandemic or whatever. Long story short, people are not getting approved still for certain things. So I feel like this topic is about cash versus credit, but clearly y'all see that if you think that cash is better than credit, then you comment below, let me know why, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like cash is definitely needed, you know what I'm saying? To be able to build, you know what I'm saying? Fix and get everything that you want. But credit, Shout out to Bam Man, pure facts. You know, uh, definitely, man, when you uh getting ready to, uh, you know, uh, clean that credit up, you know, uh, get them negatives removed, man, you know, uh, it's definitely going to cost some money, man. You know, definitely, man. You can't do it uh, broke, you know what I'm saying? So you definitely got to have that cash, man, to be able to get your sweepers, man, your people that's actually going to go through that credit file, man. And remove those negatives, man, you know, and, and remove a lot of other things that you might need removed off that credit, man. That way, once that credit, credit get right, man, and, and they don't pretty much remove everything that they need to remove, then that's when you can actually get the work, real work, the building um, status, man, you know, when you can get the uh, applying for the different credit cards, man, you know, and, and, and running money up through those credit cards again. Uh, pure 100% facts, man. You definitely gonna need cash, man, if you're talking about building that credit, man. You know, let's get back, though. It is definitely needed to be able to basically get the trust from the banks. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, when you try to go get a car, you can have a lot of cash. If cash was so important, why don't they just care about the straight cash? They check your credit score. They're like, no, we have to check your credit score. You know what I'm saying? So, you gotta look at that. You gotta ask yourself why is it that you gotta definitely ask yourself why cash don't get you everything like credit get you. Now, credit has always been a secret for a long time. A lot of you know African Americans and Latino people never really knew about credit. They just felt they had to do it. Credit gets you more because uh, you don't took time to uh, build up that trust with them banks, man. You know what I'm saying? Period. Point blank, man. Uh, trust gonna always um, go a little bit further than you know uh, that money, man. Without that credit, man, you gotta have a, a perfect balance, man. It's called a little money and and um, pretty good credit, man. You know, you got enough money, man, and enough credit, man. You pretty much can do whatever you need to do. Open up that business, you know. Uh, invest. Uh, real estate, you know, the sky's the limits, you know, uh, once you can, uh, you get that equal balance, man, of credit and, um, and money, man. Let's get back, though. With the regular way, as far as building a credit, the regular, normal way, you know what I'm saying, just paying the bills on time, which that is not really it, and it's a lot of secrets out here to life, you know what I'm saying, even tax secrets that people don't even know about as far as, you know, some of these million and billionaires not paying their taxes or paying very little taxes, it's the same thing. When you find out credit hacks or tax hacks, you know what I'm saying, you start to notice like, you know, it's a lot of people that make money, it's a lot of people that make a lot of cash, but like I was just saying, when the bankers see that you have sitting cash and you have good credit to together it's not about having cash or it's not about having credit it's about having both because they look for cash they look for proof of where you got the cash from and they want to know if you have history with the cash that you have then they attach the credit and then you can ask for things that you want how you want it as long as you're willing to pay you know the loan back on the money they basically will give you damn near anything you want especially when it comes to credit cards that credit big facts Big facts. Let's get back. Card is cool, but I'm gonna tell y'all about credit cards and like stuff like real estate. So real estate sets. So they will be willing to give you property quicker than a car. They will be willing to give you property quicker than anything because property sits. So 
you can't take the property and walk away. So they don't care that if you don't pay or you be late or whatever, because whatever money that you put into the property, you lose it all. They're just going to take the property, either foreclose it or just auction it off. So that's why a lot of people... Shout out to Band Man Kevin, man. 100% facts, man. I'm sure everybody done went through that, man. Made a big purchase, man. You know what I'm saying? And really couldn't keep up with them bills, man. Yeah, and they come pick that shit up, man. It's as simple as that, man. You know, uh, you can't make that payment, man. You're going you gonna, you gonna to be taking it back. You know, that's house, car, you know, uh, whatever else. Building, you know, business, whatever it is, man. Once you stop making them payments, man, they coming to get it, man. So, and, and as you see, when you lose it, you lose everything that you actually had invested in it. And you lose everything that you put down on it. So, that once you lose it, you don't get any of that back, you know. So, again, man. Uh, shout out to Bandman Kevin, man, for shooting at 100% pure facts, man. Let's get it, though. Have a lot of real estate because it's easier. With real estate, you don't really even need a whole lot of money. You just need a certain percentage of money to put down and pay monthly on it. And if you're smart and know what you're doing, you could either Airbnb it out or you can just find a tenant and get paid every month for it while you're making payments. So let's say if you have them paying every month, Eventually, depending on how long they stay in at your home, they will probably pay it off their self with the money that they're paying you every month or your Airbnb will probably pay it off. Because the key is not paying everything off. The key is actually saving more money. But that comes from, you know, experience, good credit, you know, having a little cash flow, being at a show proof. You know what I'm saying? That's why cash versus credit is really just cash versus credit. When, when people say that, I'll be like, well, you really need both. You facts. Know what I'm but I try to give Big the facts. aspects on... Um, both sides because credit is very very important cash is very very important as well because you might find somebody who got to have a property who's going through bad times who will just let the property just go for a little bit of nothing they'll let it go for about 20 to 50,000 to 100 depending on what the property is worth you probably can get like a 50 to 75 percent deal off of it depending on who owns it who has the deed to the property who's willing to let the property go for a little cheaper you know what i'm saying than what it usually costs and that way you put a little money into it and you sell big facts again bam man capo man again uh and this depression man you know in this pandemic it's a lot of people without work you know uh definitely finding themselves in financial situations right about now where they can't uh pay that mortgage off you know uh again you got a lot of guys around here scouting out uh properties you know, uh, once they scout it out, they find out you're in trouble, they come on in, and, you know, they help you out. You know, I mean, you know, they helping out is pretty much I want to purchase this property, and, and, I, and I want it for a, a good deal. The reason why they want it for a good deal is because you're in trouble already, you know. You can't get no loans. Ain't nobody trying to help you. The bills are actually piling up, so you're getting further and further behind. So look at it this way. <clears throat> You cut the deal with that guy that come to that door with that suit and tie You know, he get you up out that deal. Uh, hopefully, uh, he leave you where you square and you don't owe anything on the home. And you walk away free and clear. At the same time, you been done gave your property up for fifty uh, to $75,000 cheaper. You know, so it's a win-lose type situation. You know, it depends on how you look at it. Again, man, shout out Bam Man Kevin, man, for them facts, though, man. Let's get back. Sell it for what it's worth or a little bit higher, depending on who you get to buy. You know what I mean? So I just say both of them are very much needed. You know what I'm saying? And as far as credit, it's definitely, definitely needed. And it definitely make you look very good when you're going inside of a car lot. When you have a high credit score and when you walk inside of a car lot, that's when they're going to go get the champagne and they're going to go get the wine and they're going to be really, really nice to you. It's almost like having a whole lot of money. When when somebody knows you have a whole lot of money, they treat you a little different. Man, again, man. The man dropping gems, man. Pure big facts, man. I know we all done went through it, man. You know? Uh, walking somewhere, man, and a uh, dealer, man, or the... Uh, guy that's working at the store man you know smell you out you know you look like money you smell like money and with that being said man you get a lot of vip treatment man just because they they feel like you know what i'm saying you can produce that change that they need man you know you're gonna come in there and make that big purchase man so again man uh pure big facts man uh 
Yeah, man, you get wired and dined, man, you know. You get treated like a king or a queen, man, when you come through that door, man. When that credit match up with that money, man, it's a beautiful thing. You will see guys doing no hands and cartwheels through the uh through the store, man, you know, why you doing your deal, man. Because again, man, uh everything is off of commission, man. You know? Uh again, you you make that big purchase, man. It's probably one or two people get catching dust off that before it even get to the main man. You know what I'm saying? So again, man, shout out man to Bear Man Kevin, man, for that game, man. Pure facts, man. Let's go. Different when you when you're when you're dealing with people who makes commission off of sales or when you're dealing with people who who is in the selling game basically right so they're going to treat you very 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 good the reason why is because they feel like once you get approved they get paid because the banks are going to send their number their money like this they don't have to worry so once you finance the bank get their money like that so they're going to treat you very good so that's why a lot of these companies don't really care about cash too much because they don't see you really coming in there fully cashing something out and they feel like if you have bad credit, it's a reason why you have bad credit. Like I was just talking to a, a guy on the phone on FaceTime yesterday. He was telling me about he want a $10,000 loan and how he would do the $10,000 loan and this, this, and this. So I asked him, I say, um, you know, have you ever done this before? I asked him where is his, like, what is his credit score? And like for his age that he was at, like how come he's in a bad situation? And he told me. So I told him most investors that he meet will look at him like maybe he's not fit for, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 at the time. You want to get yourself all the way together before you get to asking these investors for money because you want to have your you want to have a good name. You want to if you know that you finna be worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, you don't want to mess up with none of these lenders. You don't want to mess up with banks and stuff like that. You want to actually have big facts again, man. When you're building that credit, man, and you definitely uh, entering that realm, man, like you say, man, where you feel like that bank, man, to give you that uh, Quentin Miller, man, that quarter milli, man, that, that half milli, man, you definitely, man, want to make sure them bills is all on time, man. You want to have a good relationship with everybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, definitely with the banks, you know, with the credit unions and, and yeah, that part, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that means everything is on time, man. All your I's and T's is dotted and crossed, man. And yeah, man, uh, they're going to approve that loan, you know, once they look at that black and white, man. It's about that black and white, man. It ain't what's coming out your mouth, man. It's what's on that profile, man. If it match up right, man, yeah, man, you're going to get approved. Let's get back, though. Great relationships with banks. You want to have great business relationships with banks. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, when you're dealing with... Basically, when you talk about, see, I was just basically saying um, a lot of the creditors are noticing that a lot of people are using CPNs, which is a credit profile number, which is not a real social. So they are very cautious with credit right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying cash is very important as well because creditors are not trusting credit like that no more. They got to be more careful. And the security level is way higher because of people are using these CPNs. You know what I'm saying? So it goes both ways with cash and credit because people who have cash, you know what I'm saying, they can't show proof. And then the people who have credit most likely isn't all the way legit as far as what they credit. It might be a CPN or it might be this or it might be that. So they looking at it like, well, is this a real social? And then the people who have cash, they looking at it like, well, is this legitimate cash do you have proof so i mean it go both ways or whatever you know what i'm saying a lot going on in the world but whatever but i feel like cash and credit is king you know what i'm saying not just credit but cash as well you know what i'm saying because you need the capital to make everything happen and you need history history is very important when it comes to credit because a lot of these people have high credit scores Cash is king and credit is queen, man. You know, uh, definitely, man, you got to have them together, man. Again, man, shout out to Band Man, Kevo, man. Uh, you got to have that perfect mix, man. I mean, if you got that perfect mix, though, it's beautiful, man. Ask anybody that got it, man. You know, <laughs> ask anybody that got it, man. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Let's get back, man. The man is uh, spitting everything to buck. You know what I'm saying. The man ain't. The man ain't told one 
uh, you know, tail since he's been doing this vid right here, man. You know what I'm saying? The man been dropping 100% uh, GAME, man. You know what I'm saying? This last part that he kicking about the CPNs, man, a lot of this can be charged for right here, man. And, and this is upper echelon, new, 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 new game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, y'all know about it up out there. Let's get back, though, to Band Man, though. Let's go. And still can't get nothing. You already know that. So, history. Banks, creditors, they look for history when they're giving you that loan. They want to make sure you have great relationships. They want to make sure you um, are trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? So, one thing I want to tell y'all, man, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I'm giving a free smile out through Five Star. And I'm giving away a free iPhone 12 Pro Max, man. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure everybody who subscribes to my uh, OnlyFans, y'all DM me, YouTube, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep doing little giveaways and you know, I wanna keep supporting, I wanna keep helping, I wanna keep giving knowledge or whatever, giving game. Look, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I'm doing massive giveaways, man. Make sure you DM me on OnlyFans saying YouTube, man. I'm doing giveaways with people or whatever. I'm making sure, you know what I'm saying, people are straight. I'm trying to basically give back to people who need, who I know really need help, you know what I'm saying? So I'm basically making money or whatever. But I want to be one of them YouTube channels that's actually doing for people that really need help. Because I remember being in a bad situation and I didn't have help. So I feel like I can be the one who can give you help. So if y'all need some help or whatever, you know what I'm saying, let me know or whatever. Continue to support me. I'm going to continue to do my job, man. We're giving away an iPhone 12 Pro Max, man. We're giving away a free smack. Let's go, man. Again, man. Shout out to Bam Man Kevo, man, for dropping that 100% game, man. Uh, first and foremost, man, let me speak on this just for a second, man. I've been doing a little surfing, man, and I see a couple of uh, uh, YouTubers, man, you know, pretty much saying a lot of shit he's saying is fraud. Uh, man, everything I don't heard the man say, man, been 100% fact, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. You know, I don't go home with my guy, man. I don't live with my guy, man. I really don't even get personal uh, with nobody on his uh, computer, man. You know what I'm saying? It's YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and you know, man. I don't really dig into, I ain't trying to dig into your background like that. You understand me? But father's what you're saying. With, your, with the game you giving out on, on, on this YouTube right here, man. Uh, pure 100, man. Pure 100. Everything I don't heard, man. No cap, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, yeah, man, uh, should be a lot more folks up out here, man, uh, giving away that game right here, man, because a lot of folks really don't know about uh, credit and things of that nature. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's more that's actually uh, learning about it now, but I mean, you know, still a lot of people up out here, man, don't that really ain't never been taught about credit, man. So, again, man, uh, shout out to Band Man Kevo, man, for dropping that game, man. Uh, shout out CR's World, man. Uh, subscribe to CR's World, man. Uh, drop down in that comment box. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Hit that thumbs up and that notification bell, man. So you'll know when I'm dropping bangers across your head, man. Uh, till then, man, I'm going to keep applying pressure, man. Drop down in that box, man, and let me know what type of vids you want to see, man. What type of reactions, man. We got a lot of special things coming up, you know, in the future, man. You know, look out for CR's podcast, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we moving on, man. Uh, again, man, shout out to my subscribers right now, man. Uh, again, man, um, uh, couldn't do it without y'all, man. So, again, man, um... Um, tap in, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep that uh, pressure on y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep giving you what you need, man, and what you want. And uh, till next time, man, let's go.